Native Americans. And so what we want to do when we're completing cleanup of the river corridor is increase public access to those lands. And, and we're working uh, two facets of that. One uh, involves uh, the center stage of the uh, B reactor, which is the first large scale nuclear reactor in the world. And that reactor is the National Historic Monument. And uh, we expect that reactor to be placed in the National Park Service very soon. And we want to um, increase visitorship of that reactor um, and really call it heritage um, tourism in terms of bringing folks out to Hanford, looking at the B reactor. It's, it's quite a marvel. I hope you all uh, get out there someday to take a look at it. Uh, take stops at other places at Hanford, like the old Hanford town site. Uh, take a look at the um, ecological and cultural resources out there. It's a beautiful area and uh, work with uh, the local convention bureau to increase um, visitors in the Hanford site. Uh, the other thing we're looking at is increased public access as a whole to the Hanford site. So as we complete cleanup of the river corridor, make uh, those lands available uh, for public or recreation consistent with um, conserving those resources. So, uh, for example, we're thinking about um, having a campsite for kayakers uh, in the middle of the, the, um, the we, well, there's 55 uh, miles of river, Columbia River, so a midpoint stop for folks to camp so that they don't have to take that whole um, leg of the river in one day. So that's one thing we're thinking of. Uh, the other thing is having a bike race, the Hanford 100. There's lots of great roads out there. Um, we're thinking of having a, a bicycle race where folks could uh, start at the 300 area and take a loop around the Hanford site and end up at the, at the 300 area. So those are the things that are in the near future of Hanford. If you think about it, um, after many, many years of operations, we see in the near horizon uh, those uh, Hanford lands being returned uh, back to the community or to um, the uh, citizens or taxpayers. So with that, I um, just wanted to conclude, we are making a steady good progress on cleanup. We do have some uh, technical challenges with our waste treatment uh, facility that we will overcome and um, get that thing operating um, in the uh, 2019 time period. Uh, we do expect steady funding uh, for cleanup in the foreseeable future. Every indication I get with congressional and, and headquarters is that um, Hanford is, of course, high priority in the Department of Energy and will continue to get that robust funding of about two uh, to 2.5 billion a year. And um, we are making uh, progress in terms of uh, making land available for other uh, beneficial uses in terms of industrial reuse with our community and reuse organization, TRIDEC, and then also uh, making uh, public access improving public access to the Hanford site for those areas of Hanford that are going to be conserved and preserved for the foreseeable future. So with that, I thank you for your attention and um, have a good day. React funds. Uh, we have um, a funding of about $2.2 .2 billion a year uh, appropriated. Uh, so that's our uh, funding level for cleanup in 2012. Uh, we expect that funding to continue at about that level. Uh, the cleanup of, of the environmental uh, management complex in the Department of Energy isn't considered discretionary funding in the way Congress and um, the executive office uh, looks at it. So this is something that the federal government's obligated to do. It's uh, embedded in cleanup statutes like CERCLA and RECRA. So we expect, and I'm an optimist, that we'll continue to get funding at about $2.2 billion a year uh, for the foreseeable future. And that equates to about 10,000 uh, jobs on the site. Uh, these are uh, folks that uh, work for companies like Bechtel, CH Tulum Hill. There's only about 300 federal employees that oversee the cleanup and the contracts that are doing the cleanup. Most of the folks are actually uh, work for private companies. And again, that, that budget outlook is, um, is looking good in terms of a steady. You'll see the president's budget that Roger mentioned that will come out uh, the first Monday in February. Uh, we expect uh, similar numbers in terms of about $2.2 billion a year and continue that uh, type of funding for the foreseeable future. 
And the, the, the cleanup of the Hanford site is going to take a long time. And the long pull in the tent there is the operation of the waste treatment plant. So once that thing gets running, it will take uh, 30 to 40 years to treat the waste that's stored in those underground tanks. And that's what drives that cleanup mission to the 2050 time period. Just a little bit on progress uh, to date. Uh, we are focused on the near term on our 2015 vision. So Hanford has a 2015 vision that calls for the cleanup of the waste sites, uh, burial grounds, the facilities along the Columbia River. So completing all of that cleanup along the Columbia River, uh, when we get that done by 2015, it will be the largest single cleanup project completed by the Environmental Management uh, Program in the Department of Energy in terms of number of facilities, uh, the amount of waste that has been removed, and the amount of groundwater cleaned up. That project is on schedule and uh, under cost. It, again, is one of those projects that the um, Department of Energy uses as a good news story in terms of work getting done in a predictable and safe manner. So we're focused on shrinking the active footprint of cleanup of the Hanford site, working our way from the river, basically, to the center portion of the site. And that's the main component of the 2015 vision, is completing uh, the cleanup along the Columbia River, uh, demolishing one of our high-risk uh, nuclear facilities called the plutonium finishing plant, and then continue to uh, treat groundwater while we make progress on the construction and the start operation of the waste treatment plant, which will happen after 2015. Just a couple of examples of, of the huge amount of cleanups being done on the site. Uh, just uh, last year, in 2011, uh, we moved over 90,000 truckloads of contaminated waste and debris from the Columbia, or adjacent to the Columbia River, to the center portion of the site. That's about uh, 600 trucks a day, semi-trucks a day, moving that uh, contaminated material. Just a huge amount of waste, uh, over 2, billion, uh, 2 million tons. Another thing that's going on, uh, even today in the snow, is the treatment of groundwater. So we've increased our ability to treat groundwater from about 30 million gallons a month, uh, just a couple years ago, which is a lot, to um, just the last three months or so, we've averaged 100 million gallons a month. So we've constructed new pump and treat systems uh, with Recovery Act funds. We are operating those systems, and we've really upped our game in terms of uh, eliminating that risk of groundwater poses to the Columbia River. So we're on track to shrink the, the component or the active footprint of cleanup uh, to the center portion of the site called the Central Plateau by 2015, and, and you may ask yourself, well, what, what's the so what factor of that? What's the big deal? And, and there's two uh, parts to that that I want to uh, dwell on. One is the obvious, is that there's a huge environmental benefit to uh, making progress on cleaning, cleanup and completing cleanup. So what we're doing is removing the near-term threat uh, that could impact the Columbia River in the future first. So that is removing that contamination that's closest to the Columbia River and getting it away from the river, treating it, and putting it in safe uh, uh, disposal at the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility. So we want to make sure that Columbia River is, uh, maintains its Class A status. It's one of the pristine or cleanest rivers in the nation, and we don't want to uh, screw that up, obviously. And then the second thing is um, a natural progress of cleanup is making land available for beneficial use. And we do have a comprehensive land use plan. And there's two facets of that. And one is in the circle area where we have set aside about 60 square miles of land for, ec for industrial reuse. And uh, the purpose of that is really to, to provide that land to the community for economic development. And we have a request from Tridec of about 1,600 acres to transfer land from government ownership uh, to pr uh, private ownership. And uh, we got that crest, uh, request in June. Uh, we are very supportive of that request. It's right in line with the Department of Energy policies to make land available for economic diversification. So we are doing some environmental reviews that we have to and do our due diligence and we expect to execute or uh, a move on that request in about a year. So that will provide a, a large track of land to the community, 
uh, it will be uh, turned over, uh, private ownership, and then it's really up to the community and the leadership here uh, to determine uh, what uh, is done with that land in terms of manufacturing. But the bottom line is really to create jobs and to um, diversify the economic um, foundation here at the, the, the Hanford or at the Tri-Cities. Another thing we want to do is in the green area of the map is a large part of the Hanford site is um, set aside for conservation and preservation. And if you look uh, at uh, Hanford and, and you go out there, um, you'll see that it's uh, one of the largest uh, areas in the uh, eastern part of the Cascade that has continuous undisturbed sage step uh, ha habitat or sagebrush habitat. So this, much of the land, almost all of it, uh, has been untouched in terms of urban development or agricultural development. And it is a, uh, a very key resource to the state and the nation to preserve that ecological and uh, some cultural resources uh, involving the Native Americans. And so what we want to do when we're completing cleanup of the river corridor is increase public access to those lands. And, and we're working uh, two facets of that. One uh, involves uh, the center stage of the uh, B reactor, which is the first large-scale nuclear reactor in the world. And that reactor is a National Historic Monument, and uh, we expect that reactor to be placed in the National Park Service very soon. And we want to um, increase visitorship of that reactor um, and really call it heritage uh, tourism in terms of bringing folks out to Hanford, looking at the B reactor. It's, it's quite a marvel. I hope you all uh, get out there someday to take a look at it. Uh, take stops at other places at Hanford, like the old Hanford town site. Uh, take a look at the um, ecological and cultural resources out there. It's a beautiful area. And uh, work with uh, the local convention bureau to increase um, visitors at the Hanford site. Uh, the other thing we're looking at is increased public access as a whole to the Hanford site. So as we complete cleanup of the river corridor, make uh, those lands available uh, for public or recreation consistent with um, conserving those resources. So, uh, for example, we're thinking about um, having a campsite for kayakers uh, in the middle of the, the um, the, we, well, there's 55 uh, miles of river, Columbia River, so a midpoint stop for folks to camp so that they don't have to take that whole um, leg of the river in one day. So that's one thing we're thinking of. Uh, the other thing is having a bike race, the Hanford 100. There's lots of great roads out there. Um, we're thinking of having a, a bicycle race where folks could uh, start at the 300 area and take a loop around the Hanford site and end up at the, at the 300 area. So those are the things that are in the near future of Hanford. If you think about it, um, after many, many years of operations, we see in the near horizon uh, those uh, Hanford lands being returned uh, back to the community or to um, the uh, citizens or taxpayers. So with that, I um, just wanted to conclude. We are making a steady, good progress on cleanup. We do have some uh, technical challenges with our waste treatment uh, facility that we will overcome and um, get that thing operating um, in the uh, 2019 time period. Uh, we do expect steady funding uh, for cleanup in the foreseeable future. Every indication I get with congressional and, and headquarters is that um, Hanford is, of course, high priority in the Department of Energy and will continue to get that robust funding of about two uh, to 2.5 billion a year. And um, we are making uh, progress in terms of uh, making land available for other uh, beneficial uses in terms of industrial reuse with our community and reuse organization, TRIDEC, and then also uh, making uh, public access, improving public access to the Hanford site for those areas of Hanford that are going to be conserved and preserved for the foreseeable future. So with that, I thank you for your attention and um, have a good day.